one shift that you need to make today to manifest all the things that you're desiring is to actually move from the desire to the having. Move from the wanting of it to the having of it. Because wanting is a frequency, a vibration, all on its own. Wanting something is very different energetically than having something. And I feel like this is a shift that changes everything, but it's one that many people forget about or don't realize they need to make. Because if you're like, if physical reality is a mirror and it is, then it's going to reflect back to you who you are, who you are being in this moment. And if you are very consistently being the person and choosing, it is always your choice, choosing to be the person who wants this, who wants it, who wants it, who wants that and needs that and wants that and has to have that and is waiting for this, right? If you're choosing to be that person, you're saying what you're actually saying to the universe, which is you, you are God, you are source, you are all that is. You're saying, I am the person who doesn't have this thing. That's what you're saying. You're not actually saying, give this thing to me, please. What that frequency is actually giving off is I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. No matter what it is. Okay, the money, the health, the relationship, um, uh, the career, whatever it is. You're saying, I don't have this thing. And so then it becomes this kind of endless journey and endless um, process of getting there when there is nowhere to get to. Everything is here and now. And until you accept this is now who I am, this is now who I choose to be, this is now what I choose to have, and you start living, not pretending, you start living in the vibration, in the energy of having. Everything shifts and it shifts immediately and you'll begin to see things seemingly starting to transform and change. They're not actually transforming. They're not actually manifesting. You have shifted timelines. You have shifted into a parallel reality where all of these things are here. I mean, they always were, but now you reveal them to yourself. You're able to experience them uh, physically. And so really think about the difference right now. Play with this. Something that you want right now. Okay, focus on that thing. And focus on, well, really, firstly, ask yourself, have I been hmm, more consistently wanting this? And even trying to manifest it, trying to make it happen, trying to, um, trying to get it, trying to uh, figure it out. Have I really more so been in the wanting or in the having frequency? Okay, well, what does the having of this feel like? What is that frequency? Is it fulfillment? Is it joy? Is it just ease? Is it relaxation? Is it uh, clarity or is it knowing? Is it wholeness? Is it fun? Uh, freedom? What is it that this would give me? What is that feeling of having? And you know, it's not your fault for, for being so focused on the wanting and the needing and the trying to get because we have been conditioned this way from a very young age to focus on um, what we don't have and now we need to go make it happen. We need to figure it out. We need to find the right action strategy, uh, process, um, and do all these different things to now get to be this new person, have this new reality, this new experience. And you don't have to do any of that. You can simply just shift in any moment that you notice you're going into that wanting, like I really want it. And it's kind of like that separation feeling. You are viewing something, perceiving something 
as separate to you, which is an illusion. But if you notice that when you're doing that, you're placing something as separate to you, all you need to do in that moment is just, you know, correct, pivot, shift in that moment into the having frequency, whatever that is, however that feels for you. You can do that in the moment, no matter what. And as you're just focused on being being that which you're saying you're wanting, being the new reality itself, being the new personality, the highest version of you, um, switching into the feeling, into the frequency of having. Everything changes. You start to manifest having, because again, like I said, if physical reality is a reflective mirror, like you're in a room of mirrors right now. And you're saying, I really want this amount of money. I really want this amount of money. I really want this money. I really want that. And you're consistently, maybe you're saying that or thinking that or, you know, putting that out in different ways, but that's the gist of what you're saying. I don't have this and I want it. I don't have it and I want it. What are you going to get in your reflective mirror? You're going to get more of not having it. That's what you're saying. I don't have it. I don't have it. And so it really is about finding that fulfillment in any moment of your day that you can, in whatever way that you can, not trying to fulfill it because you need it so bad. Just choosing to be fulfilled now, choosing to feel however you say you want to feel now, choosing to be whoever you say you want to be now, being it, being it, living it, which means having it now. If you're new to this channel, I'm Juliette Cleary. Subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content, make sure you tap that bell icon. If you'd like to work with me, that information's in the description box below, as well as the link to my meditation channel. And I have a meditation challenge coming up very soon, so make sure to check that out. Okay, so let's get back to it. Okay, how many times have you heard people saying, okay, when I let go, everything manifested. When I surrendered, finally just didn't want it anymore. Everything came, everything manifested, everything showed up. And let's think about why that is. When you're, when someone is truly just uh, let go and surrendered, what they've actually done is they've stepped away from the wanting vibration. It's still something you love, you would like to experience, you would prefer, right? But you're not in the wanting of it. You step away. That is why people manifest things when they're detached, right? You detach from the outcome. Uh, just let go, just surrender. That detachment is the detachment from the wanting frequency, from the... Um, I don't have it frequency. And that letting go and surrender process is a choice. That detachment is a choice. You can make it at any time. Some people think, no, I had to do this and do that and do that in order to uh, surrender, to let go, to detach, to allow it in. No, you can make the decision right now. It all comes down to a choice. And since everything is happening here and now, and there is only now, whether you wait a month, three months, three years, 30 years, it's all gonna come down to your choice to be whatever, to feel whatever, to do whatever, to have whatever, to make any kind of shift or any kind of change, to manifest whatever it is that you want, it's always gonna come down to your decision, your, your choice right now, not later. Right now, whenever you decide you're ready. So, <sighs> This detachment is really the detachment from the wanting frequency, the wanting state, which means I am perceiving right now that I am separate to this thing. 
And notice I said I am perceiving that because it is a perception that causes an illusionary experience of your life, your reality, your circumstances, your results. Just as easily and quickly as I perceived a separation, I can perceive that I already have it now. Because really what's happening when you identify anything that you want, you're actually identifying something you already are and you already have. And the fact that you can see it, it doesn't matter if like, you know, you're seeing um, a car on the street that you want or you're seeing someone on social media who has something you want or uh, you're just thinking about something you want. However, it comes up for you as a desire, it only comes up, it only appears to you in your life or in your thoughts because it is you. Because you contain it now, not later, not, oh, I have this desire and now I have to figure out how to get from here to here. No. Whenever you're saying, I'm this person and I'm trying to become this person, all you're saying is that Okay, I've got to become that person. I've got to get to that reality. And what you do is you actually create another identity in the middle where you are now becoming that, where you're now getting there. Um, but you still want it. You haven't really stepped out of the, the wanting frequency that I don't have it. It just becomes a, I'm not there yet. I'm getting there. It's coming. It's on the way. Um, and so... It is completely up to you to step into the having frequency. Many of us are not used to having um, because of how we were conditioned and how we grew up of like, you know, you can't have it all. You can't just get what you want. Like all these different things. Um, and it's all BS. Well, it's not BS because it's one experience, it's one path, it's one idea, it's one option. Um, but there are infinite options and they're available to you right now and they'll always be available to you right now. So what I encourage you to do right now is decide that you're going to let go of the wanting and needing frequency and you're going to step into right now the having. Who am I if I have this? Who am I now that I have this? Or really now that I recognize, that's what it really comes down to, a recognition, a realization, a remembrance. You're really just remembering that I already have this. And as soon as I start actually embodying and living in the having frequency, well, only when I do that will the things show up. And if I don't do that, I will not see that I have this, even though I do. Mm -hmm. Even though I have it, I will not be able to perceive and experience that I have this because I haven't decided. I haven't accepted that. I haven't stepped into the frequency of that. So take a look at the things that you've been saying, the goals that you've been saying, I want this, I want this. Um, and really be very honest with yourself. How often am I focused on this as something separate from myself? Even like just notice as you move throughout your day with no judgment, just be the, the observer, the I am that you are. I notice when you are deviating from the being of it, being that person who has it. Because you can bring that personality, the person who has it all literally, or has this goal specifically, um, you can bring that personality and that identity into any moment. And you don't need anything like special or crazy to do that. You don't need any process. You can simply decide this is who you now are and start to just right now do what they do, react how they react, be that person. Now step into the having. Just make those little shifts. When you notice you're in the wanting, 
It's like when, when people pray, yeah? And they pray for what they want. And they're saying, this is what I want. Please give it to me. All that is saying is I don't have this thing. I don't have this thing. I don't have this thing. That's all it's saying. And like, please, because I'm not powerful enough. Please give it to me because I'm not powerful enough. Whereas the most effective prayer is one where you're simply just now recognizing, as soon as you recognize there's something you want, to recognize that you have it and to accept that you have it. I had a conversation with um, my future self, another version of myself, and um, I think I put this in another video, but she said, you know, when you accept this is your reality, that's when it becomes your reality. And that it's as simple as that. Once you just actually, it's not even accepting, it's actually just realizing this is something I have as opposed to, and it's a choice to, to make that choice to be, uh, to recognize the having. Um, and it's a choice to stay in the wanting and I don't have it and poor me, right? Um, and don't judge yourself if you go there. That's okay. We just want to like shift and pivot that when we notice it. Yeah. Um, so no judgment whatsoever. Um, and so that is the most important thing is that you are focused on the having of it. You're, oh yeah, because if you're using manifesting processes, I don't use manifesting processes anymore, but if you're using some as, as a placebo, as a permission slip, as what resonates mostly with you right now, which is absolutely perfect, um, you do, you follow whatever calls to you, whatever stands out as exciting or it resonates with you deeply. So do that. But if you're using manifesting processes, do not use them to try and get something because then you're also in the separation, you're in the wanting, you're in lack. So truly, every process should be about the having, the feeling of having. I'm writing this because you know, like you know at your core, you already have this. You already own this. This is already yours. It's already done because it is you. You are literally everything. You are all that is. And you need to accept yourself as the God, as the goddess. Um, and allow the things to come to you. Allow the things to, to find you. And you sit in this beautiful having being fulfilled state and that doesn't mean that you're happy and excited and you know jumping all over the place all the time no it doesn't mean any of that it simply means i recognize now that i have this i'm going to act in ways in my life that show me that i know this that i know i have this um and I'm going to choose to let go of the state of wanting and needing. Because I'm just done. I'm done playing with the lack and the separation. It's okay if I dip into that every now and then, but I'm just done with that kind of uh, an experience, with manifesting in that way. I've done it for a long time. I think I'm done with it. And as soon as you think you're done with something, well, as soon as you're done with something, you will drop it and you will change immediately. So that is your decision, that is your choice to make today, to move from the wanting into the having. Very different frequencies that will give you very, very different results. And it, uh, it's so important because no matter what you do, no matter what strategy you take, uh, no matter what actions you take, no matter what manifesting processes you do, if you're doing it from the energy of the I don't have this thing, you're not going to get it. It's not going to work because everything is about frequency. And what you're doing is you're, you're choosing to define really uh, yourself as that identity who doesn't have it and is trying to get it. And as long as that's who you're being in that moment, you're choosing that identity, you're being that identity. And then 
you're taking actions from that identity, what will you get? Only reflections of that identity which doesn't have what they want. So, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Any comments or questions in the um, comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to share this and subscribe if you haven't already. If you would like to work together, that information is in the description box below for you, as well as the link to my meditation channel, meditation challenge coming very soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day. See you next time.